I don't know, you know, I find myself thinking of one-liners all the time. First, I thought it would be cool to, you know, make some uh, Radio Free Exile swag, you know, with my little, you know, tagline, Radio Free Exile, something for your head. You know, raise a little dough, make the podcast, you know, an enterprise rather than just the obsession that the fucking thing is. And, you know, it's been pretty cool. I've been selling these things, you know, and I don't want you to think that this is like a commercial for, you know, bumper stickers and, you know, all that kind of stuff, which is, you know, it really isn't, you know, and I've, I've been shipping this stuff all over the freaking planet, and it's kind of neat, it's satisfying, and it and it does, you know, raise, a, you know, a couple of bucks, but uh, then what happened is, is the, you know, having stickers with the podcast title just wasn't enough, I had some other things to say, I designed those. I started coming up with more, you know, political stuff and, you know, more funny stuff and trying to combine the two. And now I find out I can't stop. I have thousands of these fucking things. And, and, and if, you know, each one has to have its own artwork, you know, because I can't stand to have them all look alike. And I keep throwing my images, my images of my image out there all over the place. And it has turned into something a little too crazy. Not that I'm not crazy. I accepted that a long time ago, but I didn't realize how much I wanted to let everyone, you know, realize how much I rejoiced, you know, in this own freaking madness. So I walk around with little bits of paper in my pockets. I'm writing this shit down in the back of receipts and stuff, and it goes, you know, on and on and on and fucking on. And (laughs) even the few times I speak to live people, I reduce everything to humor. I reduce it to irony. I don't know then if I'm just another crazy guy that the clerks see who comes in every day for his newspaper and spewing nonsense. I wonder if I scare people. Not that I care. Except, you know, you know, if I found out I was scaring people, I would probably just pour it on. And I wonder sometimes if I'm not pouring it on and, and I'm not realizing it. And if I'm not, how far can it go before I, you know, fuck up and somebody kicks my stupid ass? But that's just a little part of it. Then there's the fucking Twitter. So it wasn't enough to have a podcast, a blog, and a site full of merch. I went and started a Twitter account so I could tweet people. What the fuck is that shit? So now I'm editing all of my communications into tiny sentences. And I read other people's Twittering, and I'm thinking, what the fuck is this person talking about? So while I'm shaving keystrokes off of my thoughts and sending them to the www, I can't figure out anyone else's fucking compressions. Are they trying to be funny? Or is life really this fucking bad? Did this really happen? Or whatever. Or what the fuck? And my replies of all this totally DD are even shorter and with less thought to grammar than the originals. So I don't know. What's the fucking point of this? I guess, you know, it's trying to prove to myself that I can put a fucking couple of sentences together in one place without, you know, resorting to, you know, all this other shit because I've been doing that lately. You know, next time I'll probably attempt coherent thought, but right now I don't know if that'll work because I'm always fucking thinking in one fucking goddamn liners. (laughs) 